Qualcomm chips power almost all of today's top-tier Android phones. The company showed us some of the big features that'll be in the next generation of smart devices. First up is 4K. Yeah, smartphone screens already have more pixels than you'll ever need, but the new phones will be more about moving 4K video around than actually displaying it. A phone with one of the new processors will be able to wirelessly stream 4K video to a TV with just a few taps. Of course, you'll need a TV or a dongle capable of receiving that video, but that's in the works too. There's a new kind of smartphone camera that's actually two cameras, a normal one, plus one with a fixed telephoto lens right beside it. Using the serious computing power in the 810 chip, the phone can combine the two images into a single picture that's better than what a DSLR can capture in some situations. With the new chip, the phone will be able to process sound in a way that captures it in specific directions. If you say just want to record the audio from the person you're filming, you'll be able to tell your camera you want his or her voice and nothing else. With this much computing power in a mobile device, it can actually serve as your main computer. Instead of having an expensive laptop at home, you'll be able to just leave a dongle plugged into a monitor and keyboard. And finally, a phone or tablet powered by a Snapdragon A10 processor will be a pretty good substitute for a game console. While Android's had some difficulty becoming a full-fledged game platform, at least next year's hardware will be superb for gaming, able to connect to a 4K TV wirelessly with ease for gaming on a big screen. All these new abilities are just demonstrations at this point. It's up to the manufacturers to implement them. But in Qualcomm's future, smartphones will become an even more powerful part of our lives.